I got two comments that inspired this video. I cannot go on without addressing my face. I put self tanner on last night, like literally just on my face and neck, but it looks terrible. <laughs> and it like darkens acne spots. And usually I take Q-tip and try to wipe it off so it doesn't do that. And I just simply did not do a good job. So there's that. But so I'm gonna try to vlog everything today. Just, just everything, everything. And also, I always thought I got personal but I think what I do in my videos is I get vulnerable. And there's a difference between being vulnerable and being personal. So, I don't know. We'll see if I figure out how to be personal today. If not, I have a Q&A coming up that, I mean, I'll talk about whatever you want. So, I'm not going to lie to you. It's literally like 9 o'clock right now. I've had some really good days with early morning wake-ups, morning workouts, etc. But, like, at this point in Vlogmas, if I need to sleep in, I'm sleeping in, you know? Also, I woke up like four times last night because it was so windy. At one point, I think the chairs on our balcony like slid to the other side and it was kind of scary. I was like, what's going on out there? I ate food like way too late last night, later than I typically do. And so my stomach is just not happy this morning. Like I'm not in pain, but I just feel like bloated and like blah, you know? So I'm hoping that this helps. I'm finally gonna use up my last pumpkin pod today. I love this mug, isn't it so pretty? The only thing I don't like is, cause this is copper, I don't think I can put it in the microwave. This is from the UP, we go to the UP every summer. Caramel latte. I also have been really liking the peppermint, the peppermint bark flavor. I do think it's good. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but this is for like an early morning workout because this is like a post-workout protein, so maybe we'll do that one tomorrow. But also, since I'm using a pumpkin pod today, like caramel is really the only flavor that goes. What's next on the agenda though, we're going to go play the wordle and the quirtle and the uck turtle. All right, I need to go up, finish editing, export, and upload my video for today because it's still Vlogmas. I really have been loving doing Vlogmas. Like, I'm not, not gonna deny that because I'm really happy and obviously I chose to do it. Like, I didn't have to do it. No one's forcing me. But not gonna lie, I really wanted today to be like an early morning wake up, workout, try the new post-workout protein. Like, I had all these plans. But then when you don't get to sleep until like one in the morning, like I'm just not gonna do those plans, you know? Like I prioritize sleep too much for me to just like not sleep and force myself to do all that stuff. And so today you're taking me as I am. Like on a normal day, honestly, I would have waken up and been like, bro, I can't do this today. And I would have just filmed this tomorrow. But like, this is Vlogmas, so like you get what you get. And <laughs> if you need to see me on a day that's not perfect, well, maybe you should see more of these, honestly, because I am so far from perfect. It is not even funny. I mean, look at this. I've been self-tanning for years and I can't even... I'm also 25 and still get acne and that's something I'm so freaking insecure about and I just... <sighs> Life goes on. I don't know where I'm going with this. See, that is the epitome of me. I am someone who I will start talking and I have no point and then I just go in circles and I remind myself of the episode of The Office when Michael Scott is either being interviewed or talking to his boss or something and he just like keeps talking and has no no point and he even says like sometimes I just start talking and I forget where I'm going. I'll insert the clip or the gif or the meme or whatever. But so right now, at this messy desk, we're getting today's video up. My video is just finishing uploading. The thumbnail's done, it's ready to go. Now we must work out. I wanna get it in, I wanna get it done for the day. Really though, since I have been doing some workouts, like right when I get up in the morning and trying to get into that lifestyle, like I like it. And now that today I feel so out of routine because I like slept in, went and got work done right away, like still haven't worked out. I'm feeling even like a little off. I'm like, man, I wish it was done already. This is crazy. I'm like going through a revolution. But I also mentioned in my last video, the one that's actually going up today. So I don't know if this one's going up tomorrow though. Whatever, I mentioned in a recent video. Oh, my skin is so dry. I need a little moisturizer before I work out. That working out has been better for me when it's like right in routine. And like I just feel better when it's right in routine. So like not giving myself an option of like when to work out, but just like waking up, doing this, doing this, doing this, working out, you know? 
like making it right in the line of habit stacking. I think that is really good for me and I think that helps. I mean, I think that's good in general. Also, do you like this hoodie? <laughs> I bought it from like a random website like two years ago and I bought it in like an extra large. It's big and cozy. I just wanted something <laughs> with the play button. So I think this is cute and I haven't worn it in a while. Came out here to show you my king, but also look at this place like, <laughs> Things are piling up because of the move. I'm literally moving in 15 days from today. Isn't that wild? I'm honestly just really looking forward to this workout being over. Not gonna lie. Don't mind the background. We're having a New Year's party, so we're trying to wash all the sheets and everything in the house so that whoever needs to stay here can stay here. Isn't that crazy though? We're literally having a New Year's Eve party and then we're leaving on a moving truck Bright and early in the morning on January 2nd. So like not January 1st, but January 2nd. So not only are we having a New Year's party and then we're gonna clean from the New Year's party, but we wanna be all packed up and then finish cleaning the entire house so we can get out of here. That is just the level of delusion I am living on these days. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I have a meeting in like 15 minutes. It's not something I'm talking on though. I just wanna kinda of listen to it. So I'm gonna work out while I listen to my meeting. I'm actually on hold right now. I called my bank this morning because I got a new credit card and I trying to do something with it and they called me back right as I'm trying to start my workout and then they had to switch me and I'm like, uh, I just feel so behind schedule today and I hate it. I really truly do. And like earlier when I was at my computer, I saved my video, but I forgot to do something. So then I uploaded it completely to YouTube. I didn't publish it yet and I realized it was missing something. So I had to like redo the whole, huh. Today's one of those days where like little things keep going wrong and I'm just like trying to like stay high spirited, but I'm like, ah, I need to restart. Like I just want to go to bed and re-wake up today. This is real life, baby. She said with a smile on her face. You know, it's like, do I just get started? <laughs> like, what if I'm like mid clean and they're just answering, you know? <laughs> My meeting starts in a minute. Like, what do I? Please remain on the line. What do I do? Available customer service specialist. I'm ending the call. I want to listen to my meeting. Ah. <laughs> That was so hard. Oh boy. Why do I feel so out of shape? I don't know why, but that feels like a workout that I did after I like didn't work out for a while. But that wasn't the case. I've been keeping up. Well, why was that so hard? Starting with my non-dominant side. I have to focus so hard on these because I'm trying not to put weight on my back foot, but then keep my front foot and the rest of my form correct. Something else I've learned that just wasn't obvious to me when I first started getting into this stuff is that range of motion is important. For example, the thing I just did, you're not supposed to go like all the way down to the floor. Like in my head when I first started, I thought like larger range of motion, the better, but that's not necessarily the case. When you're working out one muscle, you know, you don't need to be traveling the greatest distance ever. That's not how it works. If that makes sense, I don't know. I honestly love those. RDLs are my favorite. I think I need to be adding more cardio back into my life. Just how it makes me feel on the day to day. I don't want to stop the strength, but I think I've been slacking on the cardio. And I think if I up it a little bit, I will feel a lot better. Christmas day, you been waiting to slay. It's almost Christmas day, you been waiting to slay. I'm so hungry. This is a strawberry banana smoothie bowl, peanut butter, granola.
if I'm working out in the morning, I don't like to wash my face or do really any skincare before my workout. Maybe I'll do like a little something, but I always wash my face after. And I'm actually gonna get ready, ready with makeup and stuff because I'm actually filming a sit down video today. I also really want to make a playlist closet run today so I'm trying to see how this timing is going to work out with everything. I have no idea because I really want to go before dinner and before rush hour traffic but it's already like too late in the day. I honestly have no idea what time it is right now. I have four bags I'm taking to playlist closet though. I mean two are mine and two are my boyfriend because we're obviously trying to get rid of stuff before I move and I go through my clothes like at least three times a year like I'm constantly looking through them seeing if there's anything I'm not wearing whatever because I just hate wasting space and I feel like I don't truly like buy a bunch of clothes and get rid of a bunch of clothes like in general like I don't really do that too much or at least as much as I used to which is good but he and I feel like the average guy hasn't gotten rid of their t-shirts from like eighth grade and they like never ever ever think to get rid of clothes so he has like so much stuff I mean a lot of it is good stuff like nice jeans that just don't like fit or like don't work anymore just like things like that so like I'm not trying to bring shitty stuff to play those closet I know they're not gonna buy shitty stuff anyway they are picky I mean I guess for good reason right I feel like put those closets kind of controversial but I want to go there today and I want to avoid traffic but I also don't want to go at nighttime because I don't like going places by myself in the dark. So let's get ready. What should we talk about? What do you want to talk about? So from the day I'm filming this, I literally move in 15 days, which is literally insane. It hasn't hit me though, because really we have not done a lot of packing or anything like that. So when I moved into this house, I've been living here for about three and a half years, which is honestly a long time because I haven't lived anywhere this long since before college and I'm 25. I graduated in 2020. I was like the first COVID class, right? So like, it just kind of feels crazy to me. And so when we first moved into this house, we lived kind of in the basement essentially. Like the kitchen where I'm filming and stuff was like still the kitchen I use. There's not like a double kitchen. This is just a big house. So like my bedroom, it's a nice bedroom, but like it was in the basement. I feel like the word basement sounds really bad. Not bad. It was just a different living situation. So we lived in the basement and so last night we went downstairs and made sure that like everything that was ours was out of the basement. So that we're not leaving anything behind. It is really nice though because we don't have an outdate so we could really start our lease whenever we wanted for Texas. And so like I kind of mentioned earlier, we are leaving January 2nd, like bright and early. I'm hoping to be on the road by like 5 or 6 a.m. We're gonna drive most of the way, stay at a hotel overnight, and then drive the rest of the way, which I will do like moving videos, moving vlogs, simply because I love that stuff. I love to watch it, I love to film it. Like, it's just, I, I think it's so fun. But so, we did that, which like kind of, you know, in my head, was like, okay, okay, like we're, we're clearing stuff out, this is kind of crazy. But when I go home for Christmas, I'm like bringing some more stuff to stash at my dad's house, which he doesn't really know, and I don't think he's happy I'm keeping junk there, but I am. Um, but I am. <laughs> so, because if you think about it, like there's stuff I'm not moving to Texas that I don't want to get rid of. Like, I don't need snow boots and a parka. I just simply don't, and I'm not bringing that. And there's going to be cold days, but I have Midwest blood. <laughs> like, I'll be fine. I'm going to bring warm clothes, of course, but like, I just don't need snow boots. I don't need snow boots, you know? And so... Some stuff is packed up, but like I have not started packing in my closet or anything like that. I think that is really gonna hit me, but so my plan is after Christmas, I'm gonna come back to Madison the 26th and then really all that week between Christmas and New Year's, I'm just gonna be packing. I'm gonna have uploaded 25 videos this month. Normally I go for two a week, so normally on a four week month that's eight videos, right? That's more than double. That's more than triple what I normally do. So I am straight up taking a week off of YouTube. I think I can handle that. I'm still gonna be filming clips here and there though because I'm gonna want moving and packing and stuff clips, but I'm not editing, I'm whatever. I'm, I'm taking a break from that for a week, which will be nice and needed. I know when you pack, I haven't done it in a while, so like it's gonna feel crazy to me, but I know when you pack, you don't think you have as much and then you start packing and you accumulate way more than you ever thought possible and I also know it's way easy to underestimate how much time it takes to pack so I'm fully just trying to prepare for everything to hit and just hit hard you know it's also gonna be sad like I made a Facebook event for our New Year's party we're having and it's titled NYE and goodbye <laughs> isn't that so sad literally oh my gosh but also 
also we're getting a moving truck we're doing like a u-haul situation which that's gonna be a whole nother thing to tackle that's gonna be scary but i think we're gonna pick it up the 30th and so i want to park it in the driveway and like hang something on it so that when people come for the new year's party you know it'll just be like all sentimental and oh uh, it's crazy it's literally so crazy after this i'm definitely gonna make a coffee and then get to filming. I want to make like a fun white chocolate. I got white chocolate truffles so that I could make fun coffee drinks with them. I love to do that in the holiday season. Fun coffee makes the world go round. If you are interested in more about moving though, like I said, I am going to be posting a lot of moving videos, but also I'm filming a Q&A tomorrow that I put a question box on my Instagram story for. And I think that has a decent amount of moving questions in it. So make sure to watch that video think is a bad thing i always encourage people to question everything so i think it's navigating that now versus back then because it was yeah i think also too back then the way i describe it it was being confronted food like products these are not even foods they have no nutrition value they're you know what i absolutely hate i'm doing my hair right now and i'm like warm number one because i feel like it's always warm in my closet but also i'm wearing sweats and i have a hot tool near my head but i freaking sweat on my upper lip so much and it's so annoying because I have makeup there and I don't want to take my makeup off. Like the other day, I was taking forever to get ready so it was so bad and I was like taking so much makeup off that I had to redo concealer and powder over it just to like match my face, <laughs> like what the heck? So that is so annoying that my mustache sweats. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a mustache. I like dermaplane my entire face, but like it's annoying. <laughs> Anyways, I really love the podcast that I showed you that I'm listening to. I might have mentioned it in a previous video, actually. It's by Mari Llewellyn, who is the founder of Bloom Nutrition. I love Bloom. I haven't had them in a while, but I used to have them every single day. And I just really like her as a person, honestly. And she has really awesome guests on her podcast, so. It's called The Pursuit of Wellness. I just listened to it on Spotify. I know it's on Apple Podcasts as well, too, though, if you are interested it's so interesting to me make coffee with me <laughs> we are gonna have a white chocolate mocha or white chocolate latte or whatever i don't even know i have the white chocolate lindor truffles we will grab an iced pod this is ice legero i believe it's a double shot i also believe it's stronger so that when you use it over ice when it gets a little diluted it's fine Then we go in with the mixer, just to make sure everything's all melted and good to go. This is not a healthy drink, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't get the hint, this is for pure holiday joy. This is one of my favorite treats. I have Ghirardelli white chocolate syrup, and I try to do the fun little, you know, sauce around the glass. <laughs> We're gonna try to put a little milk in the frother. This milk doesn't really froth that much, but that's fine. On the cold setting. Then we pour the espresso mixture and we add the milk. Beautiful. I do think I want to explore different milk options, however. I've decided after moving and in the new year, I think I'm going to stop doing my weekly making my oat milk at home and I kind of want to change pace. I don't know what that means, but new year to me. No, but seriously, I, I want to change it up. I'm kind of sick of it. But okay, you know what I was thinking about? Something that I think Vlogmas is really helping me with is because I'm posting so much, I'll just have like a topic in my head and I'll run with it. Whereas when I'm not posting every single day, I put way more pressure on the types of videos I upload. And not to say my videos are perfect because that is not at all it, but I feel like I have to convince myself way more to make a video about something. Whereas during Vlogmas, I'm like, since I'm uploading so much, I literally just upload like whatever I want. And it's kind of like giving me more freedom. But I also think that you are liking it. So I don't know, maybe I need to apply this to my like regular creation. It's just sometimes in my head, like I'll have something going on, but I'm like, ah, oh, that can't be good enough. That's not good enough. That's, people don't want that. Like that's not gonna get views, you know? I don't know, it's like complicated. But so I think Vlogmas is helping me grow as a creator. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I just got done filming a sit down video like right here. If you're wondering, I always sit right on the carpet right here because I have all this natural lighting right here so it's amazing and I always do it during the day so I don't have to use a ring light. And then I sit right there, I put my little handheld tripod right at the corner and that's my background. Just plain and nothing to it. This loft is such a mess obviously because I'm moving and stuff but yeah that's my setup in case you were curious. I need a snack and I have these zucchini chips that I made during my Gains My Brains meals video. So I'm gonna reheat them in the air fryer. Don't worry, I just had a handful of regular chips too. <laughs> so balance, you know? Regular chips, zucchini chips, we're gonna have a good dinner. I'm excited, but it's too early to make dinner. And I think I wanna sit down and give myself a little break. So I'm gonna eat these and maybe watch a little YouTube. Cause like I said before, although I make videos, like I am an avid watcher too. I love watching YouTube. And I always have been. Like I feel like there's some creators that don't like watch YouTube and it's kind of crazy to me. Ooh, these got a little done, but I'm excited. They smell really good. They look crispy. Good. Dunks. What's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 22 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go for a walk. <laughs> Gonna walk Dunks and then eat dinner and then go to Plato's Closet. I am not looking forward to going to Plato's Closet, like, simply because I don't want to go anywhere in the dark. Like, at night in the cold? Oh, that does not sound fun. Like running errands in the dark? Oof. But I gotta do it. Like, I've been pushing this off for probably three weeks. So, I, I, I need to go. This walk is not gonna be a long one because A, it's like 20 degrees, but also, it's windy. It's so windy out. Like, so. What is the wind like outside right now? Currently, it's breezy at 9.3 miles per hour. Tonight, expect a light breeze around seven miles per hour. Is that not a lot? I thought it was higher than that. It was like 22 this morning. 22 this morning! That's nuts! Windy enough to wake me up in the middle of the night. Therefore, <laughs> I'm just complaining to complain at this point. Okay. Dunks, let's get your harness. I feel so nerdy putting this thing on to go on a walk. <laughs> Chunks, this is on light. Ooh, but yours has one in the back, right? Wow, that's crazy. Mittens. Dog. Oh, wow, this is great. A great quality clip. <laughs> it's seriously freezing out there. For dinner, I am making the dinner I had on my Gains by Brains video I did, because I still have ingredients. Shredded cheese, I need a cup of shredded cheese, okay. Whenever I'm using shredded cheese in a recipe, I always just buy the block and shred it because I don't want all the dusties, you know? That's a good boy. You can have the extras. We need cream cheese, salsa, shredded cheese, and chicken. Then we assemble and roll the tortilla. And in the oven they go. Set a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes, starting now. You know, they definitely don't need 10 minutes. This happened last time too. They're getting a little brown on the edges, or dark I should say. I am seriously so hungry because I slept in today. I ate at such weird times and stuff that I barely had any like real food today. Some days you just don't eat perfect. So easy, good food, gonna be filling. I need this all. So good. And that good crunch, amazing. All right, these are the bags going to Plato's Closet. Huh. <laughs> Here to waste time while we wait for Plato's Closet. I am so tired. Got 50 bucks to Plato's Closet, not bad. Got random stuff from Target. I'll show you, why not? This was just in like the dollar five and under whatever section, so figured why not start getting New Year's decorations now. 
bought someone a Christmas presents. If you can guess who, his favorite toy is similar to this one, so got this one. And then he's only had one Frisbee before, but he tore it to pieces. I don't know if he just didn't realize it was like a fetch thing and he thought it was like a chew up thing. So hopefully this one can stand the test of time. I don't know, we'll see. And then I picked up this little kit for like a gift exchange thing. I don't have a full one here, but some chocolate ice cream. Should we open your advent calendar? Come here, let's open your calendar. Today is December 18th. This one chunks. Does that smell good? They look like little teddy bears. Good boy, wait. I love seeing him sniff it. Get it? Oh, good job. We are booking our U-Haul for moving. Isn't that wild? I'm terrified. Number one, to drive the giant truck, but number two, we're towing my car on the back. That sounds scary. Like, I'm just a girl, you know? So I have something for you. I really wanted to do a little giveaway during Vlogmas, so I'm announcing it here. I put a box together of just some of my favorite things to kind of give back and thank you for everything. I truly would not want to be doing anything else, like no other job, not even any other platform. Like I just love YouTube and you mean the world to me. And I really feel like Vlogmas has been such a good time for like community building. Like I've gotten such good feedback. I feel like we've gotten closer and I don't know, like I was kind of saying earlier in the video, I feel like I've learned a lot and I've just been really enjoying this time together and I wish I could upload this often all the time, but I think I would go insane. I, again, that's, I, I love this, but it's just time consuming, you know, like I would never complain about this. It's not a complaint. I'm just saying I can't keep up. <laughs> I, I can't keep up. But so instead of doing like a random box of PR, I really wanted to make this personal to me and share some some of my favorite things with you and things that I talk about and share all the time. So first off, of course, we have caramel latte protein powder. This is not in any way sponsorship or partnered with First Form. I do have affiliate links through them, but I purchased this with my money. They didn't like send it to collaborate for this giveaway, but this is the first thing. So please don't enter the giveaway if you don't want this because I really want you to truly enjoy all these products and this is something I love so much. So if you won't use this, don't enter, but this is the first thing. And to go with it, I also got a frother. I have the same one. It's like the best selling Amazon brand. It's called Zule. See, like that thing's powerful. But so a brand new frother. I love me some liquid IV, so I figured I'd throw some of that in there as well. And then of course, I got you a water bottle to match mine. I got the same color. It's this gray one. I've just been really into it, and why not? <laughs> At least I ordered gray. Let's see if it's gray. Yeah, it's gray. See, so a brand new 40 ounce simple modern tumbler with the little handle. I love it, honestly. And I'm just a diehard simple modern water bottle gal. And then I also got this little baseball cap. I love baseball hats. I thought it was gonna match the water bottle a little bit more because it did say dark gray. They're not the exact same, but I just thought it was really cute. I love the smiley face and I think I wanna order one for myself because I didn't get one for myself and I don't have this one, but I picked this one out because I thought it was adorable. Again, it's not like a million things, but it's just some of my favorite things that I thought we could share and bond over and I just really wanted to do this. Unfortunately, there is only one winner. I would love to do like a bunch of giveaways, but that is just not feasible for me at this time. <laughs> I am also making it US only. It's just a lot easier for shipping. I'm shipping food products, you know, I'm sorry, but it is US only. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to me and comment either something you're thankful for or something you're looking forward to in the new year. It'll just be fun to go through the comments and read about lots of love and positivity. I don't care if that's cheesy, I'm making it cheesy. This is my giveaway, so I can make it cheesy. <laughs> But this is all ready for you. This video is going live on Wednesday, December 20th. Actually, I traveled to my hometown on Wednesday, December 20th. I got home and realized I forgot my chargers back at where I live. So I was not able to get this up on the 20th. It is going up a day late on Thursday, the 21st. I was able to get a charger later that day, so we're good. Honestly, I've made it this far during Vlogmas with no mental breakdowns. If this is the worst that can happen, that's fine. So looks like I am ending up missing a day, but regardless, enter the giveaway and I'm still picking the winner on December 23rd. Thank you. And I'm gonna pick the winner on Saturday the 23rd. I'm making it fairly quick. I mean, it's pretty chill. I'm not announcing it like crazy all over social media or anything, but for those of you still watching, like you really extra mean the world to me. So lots of love, good luck. If you win, I'm just gonna respond to your comment on the 23rd when I pick the giveaway winner and ask for your Instagram handle so that 
we can DM and you can send me your address and I can put it right on your package. I'm not setting this out in time for it to get to you by Christmas, obviously. If I'm picking the giveaway winner on the 23rd, I am gonna send it after Christmas, probably like the 27th or 28th, so it can get to you for around the start of the new year. But anyways, thank you for everything. I appreciate you more than you know. And yeah, happy giveaway. Every night I prepare my smoothie bowl for the morning. This is what it looks like beforehand. I'm letting the strawberries melt so I can kind of cut them up a little. And then I'll pour a little liquid, a little honey in there. I really wanted to edit some more tonight, but I, I don't know, man. I'm just drained. It's 9.48 right now and I'm just like, wish I was sleeping an hour ago, honestly. My makeup looks good though. Like I don't want to take it off. Like I feel like it's a good makeup day for me. I haven't had one of these in a while. Maybe it's because I have a little bit of a tan underneath. Um, but... I'm gonna hop in the shower. See, like, I like working out in the morning and then I will shower and like do all my skincare and stuff like after my workout, but then when it's hours and hours later before the end of the night, like I don't wanna jump into bed with like a dirty body. And not that I did much today, but like I left the house. So I always feel like I need to shower again at night. So I am just out here showering twice a day, which maybe is not the best for the water, but like it just helps me feel clean. And whenever I take off my makeup, I might as well just jump in the shower. Like I just feel like it's a mess. It's just like a whole commitment. Like if I'm gonna have time, I'm, I'm, I'm hopping in the shower. Come here, come up, come here. <laughs> He's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, he doesn't like jump. <laughs> Zoomies! That was a toy that's like so ripped apart. <laughs> show him! Show him your Zoomies! <laughs> baby are you my baby he's only 65 pounds like the vet thought he was gonna get to like 80 90 he's only 65 but like he's thick he's muscular like <laughs> he works out with me i mean you know you've seen him down there you see him in the basement when i work out but he's like as tall as me but keep in mind i'm only 5'1 i feel like people think i'm taller because like how could you really know on camera i'm 5'1 <laughs> on a good day like rounding up i truly cannot believe i've uploaded 18 videos in a row thus far like that blows my mind and i really appreciate anyone who's been giving me ideas i asked on a community poll about videos and i got such great feedback i've also been given video ideas just in comments and you don't understand how much i appreciate that because i obviously want to make what you want to see so that is so insanely helpful and i got such great ideas but a lot of these like i can't do in a day you know i want to do them and carry them out in the new year and stuff like that but like they just need more time and that's okay i'm here to deliver and try to you know create high quality content i love that but just like it's just not possible during this time can i make it all 20 25 days because I really want to I really really want to we'll just see if I do you know we will all know I'm sleeping with a mask on this is by youth to the people superberry hydrate and glow dream mask and I need to put on some body butter and then I'm good to go this stuff smells so good. But anyways, I'm gonna put this all over my body and hop into bed. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'll definitely do an international giveaway in the future. But seriously, I appreciate you more than you know. Like, I'm living the dream. You know, like, I cannot complain. And I love this community. And like I said before, I feel closer than ever. So I'm really thankful for that. And just excited to see what's in store in 2024. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next one.